we're going to talk about a missing comma before a coordinating conjunction that combines two independent clauses. Now, before we get started with the examples, what the heck are all those really weird words? Um, comma, coordinating conjunction, independent clause, I mean, those are things that you probably haven't even thought about since 8th grade language arts. So let's just do a quick refresher. You know what a comma is, that one's easy. But what is a coordinating conjunction? The easiest way to remember what coordinating conjunctions are is to think of um, the acronym FANBOYS. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. All of these words are coordinating conjunctions. FANBOYS. All right, so that one was easy. Independent clause. Basically, independent clause is a fancy way of saying it is a group of words that could stand alone by themselves as a sentence. They have a subject and they have a verb. It's a simple sentence. doesn't mean it has to be a good sentence, but it's a very simple sentence that has a subject and a verb. So here's a few, here are a few examples. I wanted to go to the beach. The subject is I, wanted is the verb, and the rest of these words here kind of just add on to the sentence, give us some more information. But really, we could say, I wanted, period, and that would be a sentence. Not a very good one, a very simple one, but it is still a sentence. It is an independent clause. All right, let's look at the next sentence. I am a graphic design major at Georgia State. I is the subject, aim is the verb. And there is no other subject and there's no other verb in the rest of the sentence. Really, we could put a period here, call a day, I am, that's a sentence, it's a simple one. Um, but I am is, a, is an independent clause. And so is this entire string of words. It can stand alone by itself as a sentence. All right, let's look at the last one. My dog, Bosco, loves eating treats. Pause the video for a minute and see if you can pull out the subject and the verb in this sentence. I'll wait. All right, how'd you do? Dog is the subject. Loves is the verb. There are no other subjects, no other verbs in, it, in the sentence. All right, so my, my dog, Bosco, loves eating treats. It's an independent clause. It can stand alone by itself as a complete sentence. All right, so let's look at an example. <clears throat> and remember, we're talking about missing commas before a coordinating conjunction that combines two independent clauses. So coordinating conjunctions, we're saying that there's an independent clause plus a coordinating conjunction plus another independent clause. And right here, there should be a comma, but there's not, all right? So, here's an example. I wanted to go to the beach, but I couldn't afford to pay for a hotel room. Let's first try to find where our independent clauses are. So let's try to find the subjects and the verbs in the sentence. I wanted to go to the beach, but I couldn't afford to pay for a hotel room. I is the first subject, wanted is the verb, I wanted to go to the beach. All right, that can stand by itself as a sentence. This is our first independent clause. But I couldn't afford to pay for hotel room. I is the subject, couldn't afford is the verb, to pay for hotel room. I couldn't afford to pay for a hotel room. All right, that can stand alone by itself as a sentence. It's an independent clause. And what do we have here? We have our coordinating conjunction. But. So, when you have an independent clause and an independent clause that is joined together, that are joined together 
by a coordinating conjunction, there needs to be a comma before that coordinating conjunction. So let's clear the screen so it's a little e easier to see. There needs to be a comma right here because this is an independent clause, this is an independent clause, and this is a coordinating conjunction. Let's look at another example. I wanted to go to the beach but couldn't afford to pay for a hotel room. Wait, is that the same sentence we just looked at? It's a little bit different. Let's start off by pulling out the subject and the verb, and this should be easy because we already kind of started to do this on the last one. I is the subject. Wanted is the verb. I wanted to go to the beach. Okay, so we have our first independent clause. But couldn't afford to pay for a hotel room. Couldn't afford is our verb, but we're missing something. We're missing our subject. So since this phrase down, or this clause down here, couldn't afford to pay for a hotel room, doesn't have a subject and a verb, it is not an independent clause. It's a dependent clause. It cannot stand by itself as a sentence. It needs to depend on something else in order to be in a sentence. And what it's going to depend on, it's going to depend on this independent clause. So it's joined to this independent clause by a coordinating conjunction, but, and it does not need a comma before the coordinating conjunction. So let's clear the screen and look at it where there's not quite so much mess. I wanted to go to the beach, your independent clause. Couldn't afford to pay for a hotel room, your dependent clause. Joined by a coordinating conjunction, you do not need a comma before the coordinating conjunction when you combine an independent or a, an independent and a dependent clause.